This is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast. It's almost over. What you gonna do when they shut it all down? How you gonna move? How you gonna eat when it ain't no food? When the lights go out, that'll be your doom. How you gonna see when it ain't no peace? Military outside walking in your streets. My advice to you is be try to get out of the city. Cause pretty soon you know they coming to your hood with that vaccine. And if you get it, I can't imagine what's gonna happen. You might turn into a zombie okay. and then start attacking. Hey, okay. if you come after me, Lord, it's gonna be a tragedy. Okay. This is one of the things that I said from the beginning when it came to Jay-Z um, in this particular meeting, but I did not notice this. So we're going to play this clip and it kept buzzing around and I kept looking at it. And we did do some research into this young lady. Dame Dash talked about this young lady in the background many times. So let's play this. All right. Remember when Jay-Z said this? I think we past kneeling let me play again this time look at the reaction of the lady sat just behind him the reason why she's worried about how jay would respond is because she's the ceo of rock nation but in her former life she was a federal informant in 1994 desiree perez was arrested for bringing in 35 keys of griselda blanco into miami under pressure she agreed to wear a wire for the dea quick side note Desiree Perez is the name Dame Dash refused to say in this Breakfast Club interview. Once you has certain friends, we don't even talk about them no more where I'm from. Now, around that same time, Jay-Z and Perez spearheaded Rock Nation's prison reform initiative with Meat Mill. I guess their hard work paid off. Because on the 19th of January 2021, this list was released. Desiree Perez's criminal past had just been wiped clean by the outgoing president, Donald Trump. All right. Mm. That was a whole lot, right? Now, we heard Damon Dash say many things about this young lady in the background, okay? Allegedly, he would say things subliminally like, hey, you know, when Jay-Z deal with people who deal with the FBI, we don't have nothing to say about those particular topics. Now, this is the lady, Miss Desiree. And what I did not know is that her background was wiped out by our ex-president, President Trump. Now you're starting to see some connections because I don't want you to um, think that all is green just because someone is doing something you like or something you don't like. I want you guys to have discernment, okay? Now, it was so funny because I was driving today. Well, yesterday we were driving, coming into Atlanta, and it was this billboard. And the billboard was a simple billboard of Donald Trump and Epstein. No words but I guess just a reminder, they was trolling, okay? Now I say that, not to say that I'm, you know how I am, I'm not a Democrat, I'm not a Republican, but I am gonna be gonna be doing a, a little special on Trump, okay? Everything is not greener on the other side. We do need to realize that mm, in the game of chess, when you are pawns, you are pawns. And a lot of us, most of the world, it's pawns, okay? So we need to know who not to put all our trust into, which is nobody. Have a backup plan or have a plan, which is a plan of survival for you and your family, realistically, and not to depend on just any particular politician or any particular situation. I know these years that have went by have opened your eyes. So I just wanted to show you that because there's some deep, weird connections between people Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they're playing a dirty game against each other. You can see it. We have nothing to do with the politics and the nonsense, but we get caught up watching it. OK, so I'm going to move on from Jay-Z because, you know, I'm just going to drop a few little hints on you regarding Jay-Z until I have definitive definitive facts with this about this gentleman and his wife. And then I am going to do a part two to um the first part that I talked about, well, I forgot the name of it. Um, Beyonce being connected to witchcraft. Y'all know we talk about that um, on my page. I have gotten personal this week. Rumble, you missed it because I can't go live from my phone on Rumble. But I did go live on my um, um, you, uh, YouTube page. So I'm going to up upload that. If you guys are into learning about spiritual warfare and the other side of the game, because as you know, is we're not fighting against mankind. We're fighting against principalities. Okay. So Grace Levi will help you um, 
you know, get some of those spiritual warfare tools. Okay. So I'm going to upload that video probably on Saturday on Rumble, but I want you to got guys to be prepared for what's going on. I'm being, I'm being dead serious. Okay. It's not just about watching these things and digesting it and like what's going on and ha ha ha. You guys have to come up with a realistic plan, a realistic plan of survival, a realistic plan of redemption and a real redemption. I mean, redemption, because a lot of the things that we are involved in as people or a lot of the things that we have stand for as people and that is knowingly and unknowingly has put humanity in a bad situation. OK, yeah. Grace Levi, a little bit serious today. Would you like to learn a brand new and innovative way to invest your extra money that has a low barrier to entry and low competition? What if I told you that it is a guaranteed method to get up to 18 to 20% return on your investment? Tax lien and deed purchasing is the only way to get into the real estate market through the back door. No credit and no loans needed. This method isn't commonly taught and therefore the competition is very low for now. We put together a 14 hour info packed course which will teach you everything you'll need to know to get started. Learn at your own pace, step-by-step -step guided video and aids to start you on the TLC deed investment process. The course offers many learning tools for new investors, helping ensure you safely invest in tax liens and deeds. Contact us today and join the buyback team.